10,700 and odd RBKs come out have already taken shape, hand-holding farmers from seed to sale at every stage. That is one of the biggest game changers that the state government could bring about. And to this, e-cropping made mandatory at the village level with the required staff positioned in the RBK and the Gram Sachwalayas. That these are the game changes that actually took place. Added to this, we're coming up with uh, uh, agri-infrastructure at the RBK level, at the village level, in a very big way, be it uh, primary processing, be it uh, uh, developing of uh, uh, these cold rooms or these uh, go-downs, uh, assaying equipment at RBK level. And uh, to this, additionally adding a food processing unit at uh, secondary food processing units at uh, Parliament Constituency taken as a unit. So all these things are shaping out. And as uh, spoken earlier, all these are initiatives what are in the pipeline. Some of them have materialized, some of them, especially the agri-infra, uh, these things are in the pipeline, which require a lot of your support because this will transform agriculture. Because uh, the only way we can add value to the farming community is by getting into this sector where we actually add value to the produce. And that can only take place through primary processing and through secondary food processing. So that's exactly what we're trying to focus on where we seek your uh, blessings, uh, all of your blessings uh, to support these endeavors. Schools, they're taking a huge transformation changes. Now all that we just spoke about, you know, getting drones at the RBK level. And we're talking about this kind of development needs the fundamental thing, what this kind of development needs is you need to improve our schools. The, ru the rural children need to be educated well. So we're converting all the schools into English medium, getting in CBSC. We are bringing in, we have already brought in bilingual textbooks, one page Telugu, one page English in all the textbooks. The schools are being uh, upgraded. I mean, every school which requires minimum facilities like clean water, clean bathrooms, fans and lighting in every classroom, the furniture in the classroom, uh, the blackboards, uh, the kitchens, the painting and the finishings, these are the things that we're targeting in Nadu Nadu in schools, which we require uh, your kind blessings so as to ensure that this becomes a reality. Because once the quality of education is improvised, automatically you will have children with better IQ levels. And these children with better IQ levels are the people that you're talking about who can use these drones, who know how to use these drones at that village level. So that is when sustainable economy at the village level would take place. So this is a vision. If at all you need to have a situation where children should not move out into urban centers, make your own village sustainable and suitable, then you need to make sure that the quality of education is improvised there. Who can use these, who can use these drones, who can, who have, you can use this technology at that village level itself to make better money for themselves so that they have no need to go elsewhere into the urban centers. So that is one endeavor that uh, we are asking your uh, uh, kind uh, help there.